Uh, Isaiah, they, you, you kind of finish things off there with the three-point play at the end, and then you're, you're punching, I think, even headbutting the, the basket stanchion. Just what was going through your mind at that moment? How good did that moment feel for you uh, and for this team to, to break free in what was kind of a mess of a game? Uh, yeah, I mean, we were just really desperate to win that game. Uh, we knew it was going to be ugly, but the goal was just just come out with a win. It didn't matter how it looked or how we did it. Just the goal was just to come out with a win. And just uh, uh, when that play happened, just all the emotions of this whole time of us being here, all the like games we uh, fought hard in, and just that play, it felt good for us to finally, you know, uh, f fight hard to get the win out. Isaiah, what's the past few days been like for you? Just with what happened against Auburn, missed yesterday, but then be able to come back and also just play the way you did. Uh, it's been it's been a roller coaster. Um, I really really wanted to play yesterday. Um, and uh, I got I was shut down. I mean, uh, it was a good thing I was shut down, but I really wanted to play yesterday. And when they gave me the call to, uh, I can say I can go today. Uh, a lot of emotions was going on, and I had a lot of energy for the day, so I felt really good uh, playing. Your threes were your first of the season, and did you just kind of go out there with confidence, knowing that whatever you could do to help the team, you were going to do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I feel like if, uh, if I hit one three, then I was going to feel a lot more uh, confident uh, shooting and taking the other ones. So uh, that's what that's what happened. Isaiah, with, with the, uh, after Wednesday, what kind of treatment were you having? Were you doing like IVs? Were you drink, constantly drinking fluids? Kind of walk us through that part of it. It was just uh, constant fluids and food, um, eating and drinking nonstop. Uh, I've been having to use the bathroom every every other second, so uh, that's just what that's been. I, I, I noticed yesterday at one point, I think on the bench, you had like a trainer or somebody come to you and t say something to you, and then you reached down and picked up the bottle. Yeah, he, when I'm just sitting around, they stressing me to uh, <laughs> drink my water. Even when I drank the whole bottle, they'll come back with another one. So that's how that is. All right, how would you describe this game stylistically? you know, some of the challenges you guys faced and ultimately overcame? Um, I mean, it was just a bunch of adversity the whole game. Um, like they said earlier, we didn't, we knew this was going to be a tough game. Um, we just wanted to come out with a win. And it, I was just happy that we were able to break through because there were a lot of moments where it was tough. Um, but we stayed, we stuck with it. We made sure we had tight huddles. We stayed connected. And we were able to come come out with the win. Big difference between two and one and one and two in a setting like this. How, how important was this for you guys moving forward as you head home now? Um, it was very important um, for us. It made to be a successful trip, but we, we know what our real goal was when we came here. Um, we wanted to be playing against Baylor in that 11 a.m. game. We didn't have that chance, but we, need, we knew that we couldn't come out here with, uh, without two wins, so we made sure that we were successful in that part. Um, I, I just think we're a very tough team, um, and you, you, that's evident. We, we, we've been in very, we've been all three of our games were tough. We had a double OT, then we went down to the wire with Michigan, Michigan State, and another another overtime game today. Um, so that's just a constant battle, and that's the 11 months that we we've been practicing all year to make sure that we're in, in these times of in these games that we're going to come out with the win and then continue to be tough. Gratifying for you to see Isaiah, I mean, him having to sit out a game and then come and play such a big part in his return. It's got to feel good for you as a friend and a teammate. Of course. I mean, Isaiah is probably one of my most important players on the team. And you see it out there every day, the way he brought to the, t the table defensively and being able to step up for us offensively today because we didn't have a lot of that today. So he was, a, he was already he's a very valuable player, and I'm just happy that he's doing well. And I continue to talk to him about that. Um, hi, this is this question can be either for RJ or for Isaiah, but with the way that you have seen really three different games since you've been here, what do you think uh, you have, have learned the most about your team, seeing as you played three different types of tough games this week? Um, I mean, really that we're going to fight the whole time. Uh, it don't matter what the game looks like. Um, even where we're down, if we're down like 10 or something, everybody's poised and everybody's calm and that comes from experience. And so you can, uh, I learned that 
no matter what the game looked like, we're going to uh, fight to the very end, and we're just going to keep going. Any more questions from the players? All set? Okay, guys, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks, Arjun. Thanks, Arjun. I don't know what they came in Ken Palm wise defensive efficiency, but seventh, yeah. seventh in the country. So, um, you know, and and coming into this, um, obviously, or the way we handle pressure, we've got a lot of work to do. Um, you know, the, the we did some things with the ball today that were, um, you know, incredibly bizarre, but. No, it's, it's the, you know, let's say he's in terms of skill level or like putting up the, the gaudiest numbers. You no, know, um, he's not like the best all around player, but he's the most important player. He's the, he's our most important player. I mean, that, that guy, um, you know, he just, we didn't start winning here until, until he started, until he battled his way into the rotation the last third of, of year two here. Again, when we went five in a row and nine of our last 11, he had his hand in all of it. And uh, the winning be didn't begin at UConn until he emerged. Andy, do you have, I don't know how the legs were today. I mean, this is not an easy game to play, even no. much less after the last two days you guys have had. How, how did you think legs were for you guys? No, I mean, our side of the bracket, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like there's three top 30 teams on one side of the bracket. Um, I mean, we beat the hell out of each other over there. Um, you know, the Loyola-Michigan State game was a war. Uh, our game versus Auburn was an epic war. Our Michigan State game was, you know. And now you've got to play a proud program like VCU that has this history and tradition of winning big. I mean, uh, it's a high major program that you know, that really took it to us, but, you know, we have figured out how to win. Dan, I, I think most of the teams who have played them would, would say how hard it is to get good looks against them. I, you faced some similar challenges. What, what were they doing that just made offensive life so difficult? And I don't know what you think of that game stylistically. It must have been excruciating to coach. It was, yeah. Time. I mean, it, it <laughs> felt like a little stretch of the Auburn game in the second half when they turned it up. Um, you know, it's a little bit of an Achilles heel for us. We don't, you know, we don't have a lot of handling guards. So pressure, you know, is, is an issue for us. We, we're we're going to have to really work at, we don't have the guards to kind of like just kind of dribble through it or give it to a guy who can just kind of put the, the, the pressure on its heels. But you know, I watched their game yesterday versus Baylor. And again, it makes you sick because you know Baylor is one of the best teams in the country. And it's a one or a two possession game under four, uh, and they're right there, you know. So, and and we knew that they, you know, that they've got a culture there. Mike is an excellent coach, and VCU is a top notch program. So we knew that today was going to be not pretty, and that we were going to have to show, you know, a, a lot about our soul as a program. What do you think you learned about your team this weekend? We could be really good. I mean, we've got things, you know, that, that we've got to uh, that we've got to tie up. Um, you know, we've got to mature in terms of our execution coming out of timeouts. You know that there was um, there's got to be a concentration of focus on, on defensive scouting things, on our own execution things. First play of the game today. You know, we, we you know we walked through at 8:30 this morning, talked about it in the pregame, and then drew it up in the huddle. And we had two guys in the wrong spot to start the game. So, you know, we got to grow up. You know, we we're relying on some young players. Um, you know, we got to grow up. Can we go to the Zoom? Coach, the value of winning games at this, obviously, hit winning high games early, obviously, that matters a lot. But what do you take away from the fact that every single game this week, not only were they thrilling, but there were a lot of rust spots, as you mentioned. But what can you take away from just not th just the team makeup, but what more you need to do? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're going to get better as the year goes on. 
obviously, um, you know, we found out a little bit about who we are here and, and, and what our blind spots are when you play, um, you know, in, in a tournament like this. Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it, it's early in the year. I mean, we, we've just, I mean, we, we just played three brutal games, um, you know, w within three day span. And we played every game at like noon or one o'clock. So we haven't had time to get shoot, to have like a regular shoot around to prepare for any of these games. We've basically had video at night and then, and then had to play pretty much every day at like two o'clock noon. So it was a little bit, um, you know, you, you kind of fly by the seat of, the seat of your pants here uh, in, in terms of preparation when every game you play feels like it's like a, at noon. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, I know you wanted uh, Isaiah to look for his three-pointer to shoot more threes this year. And do you, uh, do you think this prompts him maybe to look for a shot a little more uh, moving yeah. forward? I'm telling you, he makes them. Uh, if you were around this daily and you see him in the summer, you know, the guy, he makes them. You know, he just, he makes them. He, he it hasn't translated to the court, but I'm telling you, he makes them. And he's got a nice release and he's got good rotation. And, you know, if our fours, you know, Cook, you obviously had a couple looks at it. But if we could ever get that from him, which he's capable of, that's just going to open up the court for us. Uh, so much offensively. Hey, Dan, uh, how much has kind of RJ evolved as a guy who can take over a game when you need it? You were really struggling offensively today, and you're the only guy that could get it going. Yeah, so yesterday, like what one of, uh, you know, the possession, um, you know, the crucial possession where, where RJ had a flat ball screen and then a rescreen, and he threw it back to Andre. <laughs> And an Adama shot the, like the quick hook at with three to go, and then they got the run out three point play. Like that, just that, that awful sequence. You know, I kind of like grabbed them last night and said, like, you've got to drag that ball screen out, and and you know you you got to be the one that 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 makes the play. You can't throw that back to Andre, who then throws it in the post. Like, you got to drive. You got to drag that out, and do what a UConn guard would do in that situation and. Go try to make the shot to, to put the game away, and uh, he did that all day long today. And in the Big East, you're going to have a lot of games like this. So every time you win one, does it kind of build your confidence that you can kind of win ugly if you have to? Yeah, I mean, Big East tournament, no doubt. Um, thankfully, you, you get like two or three days to prepare in between for more, most of the season, but. Yeah, I, I think, you know, we draw a lot of confidence. I think Auburn's going to have a big, big time year. Those guys are great. And uh, obviously the Michigan State game, you know, you have a chance to win that one. And then now the real gut check win here when you play, you know, when VCU forces you to play, you know, not at your best, but you find a way. You know, this wasn't what we wanted out of the trip. We wanted to win it and we wanted the opportunity to play Baylor uh, today. But, you know, we, we could, you know, I could live with the trip. I can live Thanks. With Just to, to build yes, off that a little bit, Dan, you, you wanted to play this morning, but you, you're going home two and one and six and one overall versus one and two, five and two, whatever, whatever yeah. it is. Do you emotionally and just the trajectory, should guys feel good about your body of work so far? Yeah, I mean, we, we you know, we, we've got to come out of here. We obviously can't afford to have, um, but, but again, I mean, you know, three days, you know, three games, all early games. You know, you know, for the guy, for the guys that didn't have it today, this was pretty taxing. Um, and, and again, the games that we played, everyone played the same three-game stretch. But you know, we, we played three. I mean, just complete war games like that. And um, you know, I think we will draw a lot of confidence that we could find a way to win. We've obviously have a ton of special situation things to look at that we're going to get a lot better from. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, to be six and one, um, to know a lot about our team, to have a couple home games before we go, you know, on a stretch of, 
22 high-level games just like this. We, we needed to win today badly. Thanks, guys.